What is the fastest way to guarantee failure as a brand new real estate agent? Hi, my name is Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And today I wanna to talk specifically and especially to you as a brand new agent about how to guarantee your failure as a new agent. Now, I'm presuming that because you're watching this, your goal is not to fail, your goal is to not fail. Your goal is to succeed in real estate. So we're gonna talk about how to guarantee failure, but in so doing, we're gonna also talk about what do you do to avoid the number one thing that causes new real estate agents to fail. Now, let's start with the brutal reality. Let's start with just the flat out brutal truth about real estate, and that is that 80% of new real estate agents are gonna fail within two years. Yep, that's right. 80% are gonna fail within two years, and I believe, and I would contend, that of the 20% of the that don't flunk out, that don't fall out, that half of them will never make enough money to be what I would consider, or even they would consider, successful as a real estate agent in terms of really generating the kind of income, making the money, and having the lifestyle that you really want. So if you wanna know how to succeed in real estate, the key is to not do what the 80 to 90% do that fail in real estate. And I wanna just be clear up front that the way, that, what causes most real estate agents to fail, I don't believe is what most people think causes them to fail. It's not because of the market. It's not because the market's bad or there's too much competition. It's not because real, it's not because you're lazy. It's not because um, you don't have a good enough training. It's not because of any of that stuff. I believe the number one reason that real estate agents fail is they make a very serious mistake and they never even know what happened. So here it is. The fastest way to guarantee you don't succeed as an agent is two words. Two words that new agents get hung up on that kills their actions and kills their dreams. And here it is. What if? That's it. I think it is the cause of more, success, of more failure for real estate agents than any other single thing, and that is we get caught up in this mental game of fear of what if this happens? What if I make a mistake? What if I say something wrong? What if I get stopped? What if I run into this objection or that objection? Or what if I get sued? Or what if I get in trouble? Or what if they say this? Or what if I annoy somebody? Or what if my friends get mad at me? What if people won't say yes to me? What if I can't get an appointment? What if I can't set a, get a listing? What if I can't make enough money? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? and it kills you. It kills you because you're spending too much time trying to figure out all the things that could go wrong. And that worry, that obsession with failure, that obsession with making a mistake, it kills your actions and it kills your dreams. And it guarantees your failure as a real estate agent. In fact, I, re I remember the, a quote from Mark Twain. He said, I have been through some terrible things in my life some of which actually happened. And I'm gonna tell you that it's very much like this real estate agent, that most of you are gonna face some unbelievable disasters and failures in real estate agent, and most of them will never happen. You're gonna face them all right here in the six inches between your ears. You're gonna face them as fears of, but what if, but what if, but what if, but what if. And that but what if is a fear response to opportunity. See, the reality is when you get a real estate agent, there's huge opportunity, there's limitless opportunity in front of you, but there's also the possibility of failure. It's there, it's real, and what happens is we start dwelling on the possibility of failure, and we start expecting and getting afraid of, of what if this, and those expectations that something could go wrong drives our emotions. And your emotions are what drive your action and your actions are what drive your outcome. So when your expectation goes negative, when you start looking at what if this goes wrong and that goes wrong, because look, the reality is we don't sit around and go like, what if 
Everybody that I call says yes to me. What if I take 10 listings my first month? What if I make a million dollars in real estate? What if everybody wants to work with me? What if everybody that walks into an open house, they're all excited and ready to motivated, uh, motivated to buy a house and they don't have an agent and they want me to help them? What if all this stuff goes right and that never happens, right? Our, our mind, our imagination goes into all the things that could go wrong and I'm here to tell you right now, more than anything else, it is not a lack of training, it's not a lack of tactics, it's not a lack of knowledge, more than anything else, that is what will stop you from failing as an agent. It is getting in this game of what if. It is because you're imagining failure and that's all you think about. So what I wanna do now is I wanna talk about how to guarantee you don't fail as a real estate agent. And we're not even gonna talk about training, we're not even talking about coaching, we're not even talking about just tactically here, but all about how do I avoid this what if syndrome that will destroy your potential of succeeding as a real estate agent. So here are four things that I want you to do. Four things you must do and practice in order to, to guarantee that you will not fail as an agent. Number one is visualize only 100% success. You don't have time and you don't have room in your brain, in your mental bandwidth, you don't have room for doubts. You don't have time to visualize catastrophe, to visualize disaster, to visualize getting into lawsuits, to visualize making a mistake. You can't do that. Visualize only. 100% success. In other words, every time you're getting ready to get on the phone and start making phone calls, whether it's prospecting or lead follow-up, you visualize every single call, every single conversation going exactly the way you want it. Now, I'll tell you, that's work because the what if is going to still sneak up in there. You got to boom, get that out and go like, okay, here's what's going to happen. And you visualize exactly what you want to happen. Visualize the perfect outcome. Do not try to be prepared for every possible scenario that's going to go wrong. It's impossible to do that. Go with visualizing everything going right. Number two is take action. Take action. What if stops you when you're so, but, but what if? Well, that's, that immediately puts me into this paralysis of analysis where I'm not going to take action. If you want to master all the ways to do it right, you're not going to do it by going like what if, what if, what if. You're going to do it by taking action. As Winston Churchill said, he said, do something even if it's wrong. Look, here's how I guarantee failure is not doing anything in real estate. You don't take action, you're going to lose. Do something. Swing the bat. Even if you miss, even if you strike out, even if you fall flat on your face, do something. Even if it's a mistake, even if it's wrong, because you'll learn from the mistake. You'll learn from your failures. Number three is play to win and stop playing not to lose. There's a huge difference. There is a huge difference between playing to win and playing not to lose. You've seen, you've seen teams in sports that they get way ahead in a game and they just come out and they're just crushing the, the opponent. They're just, they're just killing the other team and then they go into a defensive uh, mode and they start playing not to lose. They start trying to not lose the ball, trying to not make a mistake and all of a sudden the other team comes back because they stopped playing to win and they started playing not to lose. And for you, that means stop trying to avoid mistakes. Do, do, make your focus on doing something right and getting something done, not doing it and not messing up. Like, oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up. No, I'm gonna do this, boom, and you go. 100% full steam ahead, take action and play to win. And then four is embrace the failures. Look, it's gonna happen. No's are gonna happen. You're gonna get no's. You're gonna say the wrong things. You're gonna get stumped on objections. You're gonna make mistakes, but learn from the mistakes and get over them fast and keep right on going. It is the only way that you're gonna win. And the faster you make those mistakes, the faster you're gonna learn, the faster you're gonna get good, the faster you're going to win. If you want to fail, just do what all the other real estate agents do is sit around, and like, well, what if, and or how is that working for you? And I'm gonna tell you, this is, for, this is totally for free, I wasn't even gonna say on this video, but one of the biggest mistakes that agents makes that guarantee their failure is they spend too much time talking to other real estate agents who are failing. 
or other real estate agents who are like themselves new who are trying to figure out how not to fail. And they're sitting around going like, well, what if? Have you had this happen? Have you tried that? Have you tried that? Why in the world are you having those conversations with other agents who are losing? And the reason I, can, I say they're losing is because they're not doing anything. They're sitting there talking to you about what they're not doing. And they're, and, they're, and they're dealing with theory and like, what do you think? And how is that working for you? And, and they're talking to somebody else who hasn't put the fruit on their tree and they're, tr and they're trying to justify their own failure. Don't have those conversations. Get out of those environments. Don't talk to those agents. You got to put the blinders on. If you're going to talk to any real estate agents, talk to the top agents in your office who are making the money, who are crushing it. Those are the only agents you want to listen to and put yourself in a position to win. This is going to be, this is the heart, the mental game, my friend, is the hardest thing to win in the battle of being a new real estate agent. The good news is you can win it, but you got to protect your head. You got to protect your environment. You got to protect your thinking and all of that and avoid the syndrome of what if this happens? What if everything goes right? What if you have massive, unbelievable success? That's what will happen if you take the right actions and avoid the wrong ones, avoid the paralysis. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also comment down below. What are the things as a brand new agent you're struggling with? What are the things that are going on in your head that you know right now you need to get rid of them? And even as you're writing the comment down below, I want you to tell me you're getting rid of that negative thought, of that what if fear that's been stopping you because that is the solution to all the crap that's going to go on in your head so that you can get it out and always expect yes and win.